going to move you on to the elections. Uh, the Democrats got pretty well drubbed in the midterms <laughs> and moving forward. I, I read some of your comments about it, and you said that you felt that the president had not been strong enough in pointing out what things had improved and how the economy had improved, and and, and you know that there should have been more discussion about that. Well, I, Why, I, I do, that I do, I do believe that. I don't think that was the reason for the outcome in the elections. What, what I, was the reason? I think the reason in the outcome in the elections is because Democrats didn't stand for anything, and the Democrats who lost are the ones who uh, uh, who were saying, you know, look. Uh, we're just not as bad as the other guys and gals. I, I think, you know, that we are a party that believes in the American dream. We believe in the collaboration between government and the private sector to enable the American dream. It's a broad-based uh, party. We are very specific about the things that we need to do economically and socially to enable people to get a toehold in the middle class and to hang on once they, uh, uh, once they get there. And I think that uh, that's a very powerful story. It is around convictions. And when we tell it, we win. We are now seeing, at least playing out in the Senate, what many uh, hope to see play out in the Democratic primary, mm -hmm. which is a, a battle for sort of the Elizabeth Warren wing, the more progressive wing mm. of the party, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, uh, you know, versus more mainstream. And in many ways, this does mirror the Republicans who have this fight about, you know, well, the reason we lost the presidency is because we had the wrong candidate. They're moderates. We need to really, we need to go really more conservative. Yeah. Now you're hearing some Democrats going, we need to be more progressive here. We don't need to be like Republicans. So they do seem to me to be mirror problems. Do you think the Democratic Party is more Elizabeth Warren? Warren, or do you think it's more in a moderate vein? Well, I, I love Senator Warren, but I, I have to tell you, I don't think, Candy, in fairness, that it, it simplify. it's quite that simple. Uh, you know, I describe myself as a pro-growth pro -growth progressive. Uh, we have, at home, been very disciplined about investing in education, in innovation, and in infrastructure. We've done that together with the private sector, and we have emerged as number one in the nation in economic Are you business competitiveness. business friendly? Of course I'm because business friendly. Because you know friendly. that's I, anathema sometimes to... I was in business. That's, you know, this is the only elective office I've ever, uh, I've ever held. I'm a, I'm a capitalist. I say that without, uh, without apology. I just don't believe uh, that markets solve every problem in everybody's life, and I don't think government solves every, every problem in everybody's life, I think they have to work alongside each other. And because we have been very di disciplined and very collaborative and clear about our convictions, we've, we lead the nation in education, health care, uh, energy efficiency, and economic competitive, entrepreneurial uh, activity, and much, much more. There are no more Southern Democratic senators. Why is that? That'll change. Democrat. Why do you think they've been sort of run out, though? Well, I don't. I, you'd have to ask uh, Southerners about uh, about that. I've spent a lot of time in the South. I I, I know a lot of people in the uh, in the South, and and I mean not political people, just regular old folks, uh, who are uh, I think also just like people everywhere else in the country, uh, willing to respond to those who come to public life with conviction, and uh, and who respond to their. Problems. Sure, absolutely. Because part of the part of the and who listens to them. right part of the which is sort of part and parcel of the same thing, right? right. Listen and deal with their right. problems, because it, I think the question that is out there now is we've talked so much about how can Republicans you know be a party if they don't connect with other voters with right. minorities and and women. The the question out of the Democratic Party is: Do you think you can be successful if the Democratic Party cannot reach out to? white males in particular, yeah. and, and, and senior white voters, including those blue collar, uh, particularly men with, with a non-college education, yeah. you have lost them completely. West Virginia is pretty much Republican. You know what? Now. I, I, just, uh, I, I just don't buy that as, the, as, a, as a portrait of the future, and I'll tell you why. Um, but for now, you have, and I'm wondering how you get them back. Well, so I, I think, that, you know, in Massachusetts, we're frequently described as a reliably blue state. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have more unenrolled independents than we do registered Democrats and registered Republicans combined. And I think that reflects what's happening in the rest of the country, which is that most people aren't buying 100 percent of what either party is selling. Um, you know, so the, they sit at home. They, and, and they, well, they stay home. That's part of it. Um, that's a big, big part of it, by the way. Uh, and if we don't offer people something to vote for rather than against, 
um, then I think more people will continue to stay home. I need a yes or no because i got to move on. Should Elizabeth <laughs> Warren run for president this time around? Well, that's, don't, you have to ask her that question. <laughs> well, you know, but what I, do you think? I'm a great admirer of uh, Senator Warren, as I am of Secretary uh, Clinton and, and the others who are, uh, who are circling around. You are a idea. big help. That's why, <laughs> that's why you're a politician. No news today. <laughs>